It is my honor and privilege to introduce the commanding officer of the USS Abraham Lincoln, Captain Amy N. Bowertritt. Quartermaster, break my pennant. They might have just had to be there, Sarge. <laughs> Good morning, Lincoln Nation. Vice Admiral Whitesell, Vice Admiral Kaler, Vice Admiral Brown, Rear Admiral Anderson, and Rear Admiral Cano, Warfare Commanders, honored guests, family, and friends. Thank you so much for being here. President Lincoln, throughout the Civil War, visited his generals and men in the field, often riding his horse up and down the lines of battle always with the tip of his hat, kind words for his troops, and telling of his vision for America. Away from the battlefield, he would comment to all those who would listen that the soldiers rendered the hardest work in support of the government and that they should be given the greatest credit. Nothing is further from the truth today. The Lincoln Nation's strength is you, our sailors. We have about 700 or so standing behind you right now, which is only about 20-25% of the crew, depending on how you want to do the math, but they are the strength of this ship. Your achievements to date, and also those we have yet to achieve going forward, are a byproduct of the exceptionally high standards on board this ship I've already witnessed. We are the next carrier and striker to deploy, and we will be ready. What we do every day matters. Your hard work makes the difference and is vital to national security. Our mission on board is to prepare this mighty warship for armed conflict as a deterrent to armed conflict, as a ready platform for humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, or for any operation when called upon by our country's leaders in support of our Navy and nation. Your continued ownership of this mission and your job will ensure we continuously improve our warfighting position. Every single job on this mighty warship matters. Employ the talents of everyone. Know your job and do it to the utmost of your ability. Own the outcome of your work, not just the completion of a task. We are all a part of the Lincoln future and its legacy. Take ownership of your legacy and support each other in execution of the mission. This outstanding level of ownership was never more evident during my turnover. Weapons department, led by gun boss, not only we did the inventory in the middle of the Olympics, not only did they earn an Olympic gold medal, but set a new world record where I think it took us 14 minutes to get through an inventory of all of the weapons on board. That is no small achievement. Our admin team did an incredible job ensuring all of the paperwork required prior to this ceremony was executed flawlessly, on time, error-free, and most professionally. But no one gets ready for a crisis in the moment of the crisis. Your level of knowledge, technical competency, and procedural discipline honed over repeated quality drills and training events determines how we will perform under pressure. Lincoln Nation, we will continue to be professionals, committed to training and excellence in all areas, which will enable us to exploit our tactical and technical advantages over our enemy. This was on display in full force by the Engineering Department, Reactor, Ops, Air, and Intel during these last underways conducting both live, live virtual, and training evolutions. We must not permit complacency to creep in. There are complicated challenges around the globe and our enemy is constantly seeking to subvert our way of life. Therefore, we must remain steadfast in doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do and understanding why it's the right thing to do. We will strive for excellence in daily tasks and cohesion across the Lincoln Nation, addressing obstacles, remaining ready, and continuing our development into the most effective, powerful, and trusted fighting force. Supply did this superbly this last underway, operating with a new aircraft, the CMV-22, which carries parts just a wee bit differently than the previous aircraft that would come on board. They did an incredible job managing not only the people, but the parts coming on and off the ship to ensure we would be ready. And while I did not mention each of our 20 departments on board today, I will say it again. What we all do matters, and your hard work makes the difference. Lincoln Nation, I've been so incredibly impressed by your professionalism preparing this worship for any mission with warfighters who own their job and operate with integrity. To our families and loved ones, 
Your strength and dedication to Lincoln Nation is unmatched and vital to our mission readiness. Thank you for everything you have done and will continue to do to support us. Getting here today is never accomplished alone. I'd like to reiterate some of the thank yous that Sarge mentioned to the band. I let him know when the band started playing and I said apparently that means you really have made it because uh, I got the word down to him as he started up this morning. Chaps for your invocation and benediction. Uh, Sarge mentioned the working party. Uh, no kidding. XO's calling away, CMC supporting them, 200 man working parties. The Chief's Mess was vital to that. Uh, they got everyone there and they spent hours putting together everything that you see today. The tents, the flags, operating our elevators for you to come up today. Greeting of guests, those in the gate when you came in this morning, the cleanliness of the ship, the voluntary, the volunteers information behind you. Apparently something's going on on base. This is what happens when you go live. Dale Base Coronado, your phone's probably ringing. Wherever you are, Cosmo, your phone's probably ringing. Uh, Ed DeVera, contractor from Naval Air Forces that assisted with our tents today. Our ombudsman I see in the third row over here, at least most of our ombudsmen. Um, your complete and other selflessness in supporting our crew goes unmatched on a daily basis, so I offer my thank you as well. As Sarge mentioned, Lieutenant Commander Van Howard, our lead change command coordinator, with his right-hand person, YNC Russell, and I think uh, Fire Control Senior Chief Dowdy got recruited to come to the ship by Sarge. They got recruited onto the change of command, so I don't know who that speaks to what, but those three individuals absolutely, flawlessly executed this ceremony. Much like Sarge Mom, my dad and brother can't be with us, but are on the opposite side of that iPhone right there that hopefully is still filming. Uh, and to my, excuse me, my mother and stepfather who are no longer with us, including many grandparents, you are definitely with us in my thoughts and prayers. I appreciate all the family members, uh, friends from many years ago, my first CFC, I am skipping an awful lot of people out there, so many wonderful people that showed up today um, to partake in this ceremony. And one last thank you to the crew for a phenomenal turnover, Sarge for his support, and for somewhat reluctantly, but deservedly proud to hand over this mighty worship. I consider it an honor and a privilege to be Abraham Lincoln's commanding officer. I am ready to lead the finest worship in the Navy into their next chapter. We have a deployment on top time to make Lincoln Nation. Let's get after it. <laughs>